Flex Food is 46 real food ingredients on demand for real muscle building meals and real results fast. Scott Welch, Muscle Insider Magazine. We're here with the legends of bodybuilding here in Canada. We're here at the Arnold Sports Festival. And we got some predictions here. What are we looking at at the show when it kicks off at the pre-judging? Look, want my predictions first, Scott? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, what do we want? Top five, top ten? Yes, what do you top think here? Five. Top five. Okay. I, what I see happening is, is like a few different mini battles happening, like Hottie and Samson, uh, Horace and James, uh, and then I think Rafa, John, and even. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe an Antoine could be in that mix, but battling it out for the next uh, spot. So that's kind of how I see things unfolding now. Do you want my exact predictions? Ah, oh, come on. You gotta okay, I got Samson. Name down. We're, <laughs> we're, 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 we're different, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Samson, Hottie, James, Horse, and then fifth, Rafa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with uh, with Paul that there's definitely some good storylines in different battles. Um, I definitely think that Hottie and Samson are a two-man race. Um, I don't think that any of these other guys, and this is not like disrespect for them, but these guys are kind of in a, a group of their own. You know, they're both they're both out of the top three of last year's Olympia. You know, next best after this was you know some of the guys that have been tenth, ninth. So um, I definitely think they're a little bit of a foot ahead. I see it being maybe a big first man call out, and then, and then just doing a two man at the end of that with just the two of these guys. Um, I have Hottie winning. Um, I think after the Olympia, he's going to come back with a vengeance, and him and Hottie are going to come back here, and he's going to be just absolutely freaky. So I see Hadi winning um, quite decisively, to be honest. I think he's going to be pretty crazy looking. Samson in a clear second. I'm going to put Raphael in third. I have Raphael in third. I'm going to put James fourth. And then I have it a battle for fifth between John De La Rosa and uh, Marcelo, Horse MD. That's what I'm seeing it. Now, I have seen photos that were posted about James, and I just can't believe, obviously, he's quite uh, tight with you guys yeah. in the podcast. How much size has he gained over this last year? Yeah, I don't know much if it's he's gained a ton of size. I think it's just in terms of how they've managed the, the prep in terms of, you know, refeeding him, keeping that muscle there and keeping it full. Um, you know, James, I think, has, you know, done a lot of this prep himself. Um, you know, I think with the slight overseeing of uh, with Milos, but I think James is really doing a lot of himself and doing it very intuitively. You know, he's not like overthinking the science of anything. He's just like, ah, I feel a little flat today. My energy's down. He eats for a couple of days. Doesn't train for a couple of days. He's just doing things very intuitively, uh, and I think his body's thanking him for it. And I think we're going to see that on stage. I mean, we were over there and see him. Even I've just, you know, put my arm over him and feel him. He's fucking full as a house. He's big. Um, so do I think he's gained 20 pounds of muscle? No. Do I think he's coming in displaying all the muscle that he already had when other showings he just wasn't showing what he had? You know, I think this is going to be a real James, what we've all hoped to see and expected to see with that big level of muscularity he has. And we'll actually see it on full display here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Paul, you are an IP Pro League judge. From a judging perspective, when you have two shorter athletes side by side, is it a little bit easier to compare them? And does that kind of help Hattie if it's an Olympia, but kind of hurt him when he's beside a taller man of Samson? We've actually talked about this before on the podcast, how sometimes uh, when you have similar physiques in a show, it can kind of... The direction of the you know the direction of the shows kind of go that way where you have like four guys that have similar structure one guy who's kind of an outlier from that it can kind of you know it, it, can, it definitely can dictate you know the flow of the show how it goes but in this show uh you mean like you're talking about the discrepancy between samson and hottie i take yes. it yeah um yeah i mean you know with that's going to come some advantages with, for samson and also some disadvantages got a bigger frame to fill out you know so that could expose you know areas that aren't as strong on samson if they're not you know uh, as, as thick as Hottie, yeah. as we know Hottie to be and will be. Um, so it's hard to say. Like, I think if Samson brings the total package, like we're all, you know, want to see from Samson, I think he's, I think he's almost untouchable if he brings that package. We'll see if he does or not. Hottie, though, is, you know, formidable. And, uh, you know, he's going to be his best ever, I think, here. So I'm looking forward to that battle. I think it's going to be crazy. And now you know it, Andrew. You know the predictions now. It's on you now. <laughs> over here, camera person over here. What are the predictions from us? I don't know. I, I got to see both ways. I think it's going to be a bit of a matter of who's going to lose rather than who's going to win. Because um, they both have the structure and the ability to take that first place. So I think it's going to be if one of them's off is where you're going to see the big difference. And then I, I think like we were talking about, I don't think you can call three to six really. Uh, it's all going to be, that's going to be the dog fight. Those, it's one and two and then... Yeah, even down to last place, like when you're talking 10th yeah. place, 
when we were doing our predictions, the guys that have placed 10th are capable of coming third here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, you guys, you know, when you got, get down to the bottom there, I mean, you still have guys like Justin, Shabon, Akeem, Antoine, John De La Rosa. I mean, all these guys are there. You have an Akeem, that's good. He's been sixth place at the Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a good Antoine, I mean, has won California Pro, you know, in big shows against good guys, you know. Shabon has been 10th place at the Olympia. I mean, there's some very good bodybuilders in this lineup, even right to the bottom. So, you know, like you said, it's really going to be about who's on, who's off outside of just the top two i think right down to the bottom you know someone like justin if he's on could be up there but if he's off he could be 10th you know so i think you get so much variance there just by who shows up on that day you know which makes predicting it so hard right, right. so yeah. you know it's so dependent on what they actually show up as you know so it's yeah it's exciting but a two-day show there could be drastic changes yeah. from day one to day two yeah. so then, I, mean, I, then I, I lost this i came third at the show on the friday to kuklo so nick walker won that year they did a two-man call out with Kuklo and Nick on the Friday. I came back and came second. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I edged Steve out by more on on the Saturday and came back and came second. So you can you can turn the tides here at the show in a two-day show, 100%. Yeah. yeah. There you have it. Predictions from Canada here, at Muscle Insider. Thanks for checking this out for all our contest coverage. Check out MuscleInsider.com. Thanks to Mutant for sponsoring our contest coverage.